So I was a personal assistant for Victoria Beckham, which you you kind of meet some cool people. So I met um, Scary Spice, and she was awesome. Um, but I did meet, I did notice that while I thought it was going to be super cool meeting certain people, I acted kind of like an idiot. Like I made, like at any hired help, you make friends with the hired help, you know. So the hairdresser and I became really good friends. And um, we went to um, some place on Sunset, and he gets off his phone. He's like, oh, Eva Longoria is going to come up to the bar. She's in the restaurant. And I was like, Norm, I'm not like, holy m- myself, Eva Longoria. Like, I wasn't driving here from Chicago thinking, like, if I meet Eva Longoria, I'm going to die. Um, however, when he told me that was going to happen, I, like, could not find my lip gloss and was freaking out. And so I finally found it and, like, made sure I had fresh lip gloss and, like, checking if my stomach was flat and, like, checking my hair. And, like, she walked up and she looked... Like, I don't date women, which, whatever, but she looked, like, real good. You know what I mean? She she looked soft, like, freshly exfoliated. Like, she smelled delish. And I was just like, (laughs) and so they had their cute little reunion, and then he says, this is Renee Gauthier. And at this time, I was her, Victoria Beckham's personal assistant for a TV show. So the show had already aired. So she goes, I know who you are, and, like, kiss me and hug me. And in my head, I'm screaming, like, oh, my God, we're friends friends and so like I'm having like this natural conversation with her which I'm sure I look like an idiot and then she told the story and like hit my leg and she's like you know what I mean I'm like I'm calling her later like how are we not friends now like if I ever get to walk the red carpet she's gonna totally be my friend on there you know what I mean like she doesn't know what she got herself into you don't touch people and not expect them to be your friend for the rest of your life and um that was always interesting like scary spice was super awesome but the one person that I met on accident was Kelly Clarkson, who is like, hello, American Idol, and I love her. Like, she's the one you poop yourself over. I love her. And so she uh, she had come up, and I was at a comedy show, and I hadn't. It was a bad show. I could have eaten a sandwich and gotten on. Mwah, 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 good day to you. Like, it was that uneventful. So I got off stage, and she's like, I thought you were really funny, which she, that was so nice for her to lie like that. And I was like, I liked meeting you. That's all I said. And she left. And I was like, what the fuck? And I just wanted to be like, come back. Oh, my God, I'm so much better than this. You know, and I waited on Jodie Foster once, and I just wanted to tell her a self-flight plan. It was like very, I can't continue, I can't control myself. So the Kelly Clarkson one was probably the worst. She didn't touch me, so I can't call her. <laughs>